Welcome to the introductory video to the Geomagic Freeform 2025 release. This quick video will highlight the most exciting updates in this release, but for more details, be sure to check out the other detailed feature videos, the release notes in the installation folder, and the online help. This update focuses on three main areas, new tools, Dynabot automation improvements, and customer-driven enhancements to existing tools. Let's jump straight into the new tools. First, the perforation tool. This allows you to quickly create perforations on models with just one tool, making it faster and easier than ever before. Surface lattice tool. This allows you to create Voronoi patterns of 3D curves and then use them to create geometry for perfect surface patterns and cutouts. These two tools also work together and you can align the perforations with the lattice. Now let's take a look at the Dynabot improvements. First, we have IP protection. This allows you to encrypt and lock Dynabots to a specific computer. This allows users to protect their IP. We have a new variable, UI query. This allows you to set and reuse variables across tools for greater flexibility in automation. In the example running, the Dynabot captures the XYZ coordinates of the point and applies it automatically to the plane. And lastly, let's take a look at the customer-led enhancements. Now you can easily mirror planes around an existing plane, plus you can also mirror meshes around an existing plane. 3D measure updates. You can now switch between instant and permanent measurements and link them to pieces and points for automatic updates. Users can now measure the perimeter and cross-section at a plane and update those dimensions as the model changes. Selection improvements. Enhanced on both clay and mesh selection, you can now select with square shapes as well as circular shapes. Plus you can use existing curves and select to a user defined depth. Fit to selection has been enhanced to fit points to the spherical center of a selection. The separate tool now allows users to separate the model into multiple pieces using multiple curves or planes in one operation. There is a new point construction palette, allowing users more ways to create points, like points along a curve, curve intersections, and curve to plane and curve to model intersections. You can now rotate the view of the model around the screen normal using the haptic. In this example, the default box is easily reset to the desired direction. Library folders can now be defined for faster importing without having to navigate through a folder structure. These are the main highlights, but there are plenty of others. Be sure to check out the full details in the other videos and the release notes. If you have any questions, reach out to your Geomagic sales partner, visit opton.com/freeform or contact support. Thanks for watching.